effect for him. But from a, a price perspective, you know, there, there, there were two behind him. Unequal Love didn't get a clear cut at him, and also Flora of Bermuda a bit further down. So, look, he's a wonderful horse, and he was on the go, Ed, one of two horses who are up at the top level today from Doncaster early on. Yeah, Charon being the other, winning that day. Last call for the ITB7 as they start to load your last chance to win 100 grand. Have a go at home. Ask it United. You can see the goals in the background there. Away at Uxbridge today. Good luck to the yellow men. As we see Flora of Bermuda, who was unlucky, I thought, at Haydock that day. Adele. Do you want two? In this case, this season, six furlong races. Sort of whose turn is it? Whose turn do you think it's going to be? Well, I, I like Montesib. I think um, I think he'll like it here at, at Ascot. I think the way he won at Haydock on his run style showed that he's, you know, he'll like it here. We've known horses can come from the back here at Ascot. He's won on soft ground. He stays, obviously, seven furlongs. So that's not a bad thing to have as well in your locker. Although Haydock Spring Cup winners are zero from don't tell six me. here. So weirdly, winners of that race don't have a great record in this because this is a much stiffer test but funnily enough horses that have been placed in the spring cup have got a good record here and it's kind of blue not why we have not even mentioned him yet he, he's also on my he's my second choice um, ed said i could have two he was another one and i thought he did very well because obviously he was bang up there with the pace wasn't he at haydock and i thought he did really well for a three-year-old to, to, to run as well as he did at his first time at the top level watching on you can see on the right there luke what's happening yeah moss tucker's just getting he's in stall 14 you can see one of the stalls handlers so they're in there like a greyhound he was uh, just to hold a horse's head because he rid right up nearly got his legs over the front but he seems okay now at the start keep a very close eye on stall two the Cheveley Park colours of the Lockinge winner if there's one horse that could blow this apart is it audience at 10 to 1 yeah it could be him but there is no pace drawn around him I wonder how they're going to attack it from a tactics point of view Buccaneer of Fuerte is drawn with the pace and I hopefully is going to get given a chance early dropped in played late just on the right there Kin Ross is shortening all the time could get even shorter of four to one. I reckon it'll be seven to two in a second. Three to come forward. This start's going to be so important. What will audience do from the start? Let's find out with Richard. Yeah, Stall 12, Art Power, as uh, Rudy pointed out, where he went last year. He's drawn in the middle, a grey, easy to spot. Will they split into two groups? The cutaway runs out for those on the stand side after a couple of furlongs. So we are all set. And they're off. Racing for the champion sprint. Art Power's pretty well away in company with Swing Along, Spy Catcher up the centre of the race course. Buccaneiro Fuerte is also prominent. So as they settle down, Audience has jumped out on terms with elite status. Anaf over on the far side, which should have been a ring. They lead the quartet there. Art Power and Swing Along head this group up the centre in company with Spy Catcher, Millstream, Unequal Love and Moss Tucker. Right hand side, Buccaneiro Fuerte is being tracked by Kind of Blue Flora Bermuda. Vadrim Vapportino in midfield, but Vatier is quite well back. Montesim is well back, and James's delight is right at the rear of the field. So Art Power and Audience in company with Swing Along. Buccaneiro Fuerte being pushed along with elite status. Spy Catcher, Anaf travelling up strongly, which should have been a ring over on the far side. Then behind these, on the near side, kind of blue floor of Bermuda. Babatier is trying to make some ground. Kinross is a long way back on the near side, just trying to make some ground. Swing Along has gone to the front as they race with a furlong and a half to go from kind of blue floor of Bermuda. Then Anaf and Spy Catcher. Kind of blue for James Doyle and James Fanshawe. James has done so well with his family, including success in this race in the past with Deacon Blues. And Kind of Blue has lived up to the family honour. Brave run, swing along. Flora Bermuda in third. Bovatier just couldn't get a break when he needed it. He plugged on for fourth. Montesib was fifth. Then behind those in sixth place was Spy Catcher. Kinross never really getting there. Likewise, Montesib, along with James's light, they came right from the back. It was a slow motion finish. Wathnam Racing purchased Kind of Blue recently and it's paid dividends wins for James Doyle and what a family as I say for James Fanshawe over 30 years he's had representatives from this broodmare
So, an inspired purchase for Wathnan Racing. A big moment for James Doyle, who rides his first Group 1 in those retained colours. But for James Fanshawe, Adele, Deacon Blues, the Tin Man, and now Kind of Blue. A love affair with Ascot's champion.